Hello Tensorians! Today, we're continuing to introduce an interesting control net tool. This control net tool is called Revision, which can generate images highly similar to a given image. When you encounter complex compositions that are difficult to describe with prompts but still wish to obtain an image with a similar style, you can choose to use Revision to get satisfying results. How to use Revision? Step 1. Open the Tensor Artificial website and enter the classic working mode. Step 2. In the TXT2 IMG mode, click Add Control Net and select Revision. It's important to note that only the basic models of the SDXL class can support the use of Revision. Step 3. You can choose from two preprocessors, Revision underscore Clip Vision requires prompts and Revision underscore Ignore underscore Prompt does not. Choosing the former allows you to use prompts to further control the accuracy of the generated images. The latter does not require prompts and automatically ignores them during processing, only referring to the input image for guidance. Step 4. Upload the original image and click Confirm after uploading. Step 5. You can adjust the weight parameters and control step. Usually, the default is 1, which usually produces satisfactory results. Step 6. If using revision underscore clip vision, you can input prompts for more accurate results. If choosing revision underscore ignore underscore prompt, you can input anything as prompts, which will not affect the results. Step 7. Click generate and wait for TensorArt to generate the desired image for you. That's how you specifically use revision, enabling computers to understand images and generate images that perfectly reproduce the original composition and style. Tips 1. During actual usage, if you choose revision underscore clip vision, you need to input prompts to influence image processing. Therefore, we suggest using abstract prompts to obtain corresponding prompts for images and then input them into the prompt box for generation, which will yield better results. 2. Additionally, you can combine revision with other control nets, such as using Canny to control the original image's contour edges, making the resulting image more accurate. For tutorials on using other control nets like Canny, please refer to previous videos. If you encounter any issues or have feedback during use, feel free to join our official Discord community and contact us. You can share your points here. That's all of today's sharing. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe to our channel. We'll regularly share useful tips and exquisite models on our channel. Thanks for your watching.